Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Chris Marie, and happy full moon. It is the lunar full moon eclipse in Libra, and we're going to talk about the astrology and do a tarot card reading. And moon is an opportunity for us to, to, to release, to realize, to adjust, to really put that spiritual energy into motion, to be heard, to be validated. Now, when you have an eclipse like this, the energy is going to be even larger. And when you have it in the sign of Libra, the, the energy to balance is extreme, right? It is extreme. You know, people are to the point where they want to change. They want benefits. They want abundance. They want love. And with that being said, all of that energy is going to be attracted around. Um, and we're going to talk about it. I got the astrology here. We're going to go um, with each sign, sign by sign, and talk about this, this, this full moon. See, okay, so let's talk about Capricorn, Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, and Capricorn rising. You're going to be having your, your moon eclipse going through the 10th house of your sign, your house, but at five degrees of Leo. Okay. So let's take a look at this real quick and read this for you. So again, everybody is dealing with emotions. Everybody's dealing with energy that is a passing phase, but understanding new possibilities. So of course, this is going to be for you in the area of work. This is going to be in the feelings of basically like, are you happy where you are? And I think you are. I think you're happy at where you are at work. And, but there might be somebody or someone causing you conflict, might be clashing with you. You might be worried if you're not going to get that raise or something, you know, but it, it, nonetheless, you're making a serious decision rather than an observation by learning from your past experiences. Okay, Capricorn, let's say that again. You're going through something in your public life is almost like a karmic cycle. It's a possibility that you have an opportunity to accept the truth, like accept for what it is by expressing your sadness, expressing your anger, your happiness or joy, and then able to apply it and move forward truthfully in your life. Like be around people who want you to win. Be around people who support you. You know what I'm saying? Do not make peace with sour feelings. Those are the lessons right now. Okay, so you're learning lessons from the past and you're applying that compassion here with the future. That is that is really, really huge. It's big, big energy. Now, the lots of communication that's happening here in your third house. So you are socializing, you're getting along with your family. There are this is good, harmonious energy. So you have two safe energy things that are happening right now. So right now, home life communication, your social life, it's good. But work life is a little different, is a little demanding, is a little triggering, okay? But home is good. Relationship and money issues, that's the thing where you're looking at alternative directions, okay? Now, when it comes to love, um, also, again, it's, it's good like energy. You are working with your partner, you're talking with your partner. Now, if you're single, the only thing I do see is that if it is like a new relationship, you might be considering that it's over and finding a new person. Um, but if you're in a committed relationship, you're finding new outlets for each other. Okay. Big time, big time. Okay. So Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. Let's go ahead and get your psychic tarot card reading. Your overall theme, we have the emperor reverse, okay? So this really is about kind of like, not just, um, what's the best word to say it? So it's like that motivation, finding that happiness, um, embracing that impersonal truth, okay? Kind of taking yourself out of it and trusting the process, okay? So that's gonna be a big thing about trusting the process. Let's take a look at, the energy and the messages that you need to know. Okay. So we have the world card upright. So there is something that is going to be happening that be celebrated. There it is. Family is looking great. Like I said, family is good. Family is being celebrated. Let's look at your work. The hermit. There's that Virgo like energy. Remember how I told you there's like something or someone 
that you're overthinking that you're right. You're not overthinking it, but you're actually right when it comes to work. So that's going to be playing out as well. Let's look at anything else you need to know. Okay. Just you're on a, you're on a good healing phase. You're on a good sense of attraction. You're on a good sense of love. Um, it's just work and applying that and applying those lessons. And if anything, temptation is real, you know? So if you're single and you're just like, you know, again, like talking to those single Capricorns in those situationships, and it might be that time where you guys are changing it up. Nonetheless, it doesn't feel too negative. It doesn't feel like it's going to be, you know, a bad, bad thing. Okay. And you'll see, I'll be using this candle. This is an empowerment candle. Okay. So we're empowering ourselves. We're empowering the situation. We're using the empowerment energy of Libra to create this balance. Okay. Because we want to balance these. We want to balance it out, but we want to empower movement. That's the thing. That's what's happening here. We're all emotional. We're all realizing what do we value? What do we feel? And if you're like me or like anybody else, you want to do something with it. You don't want to sit there. You don't want that energy to be stagnant. You want that energy to move. You want that energy to grow. You want that energy to vibrate, to attract, to be substantial, to help you, yourself, your friends, other people in your life. I mean, let's, let's think about it. You're at this moment of your life where you know you deserve better. You want better. You've done the hard work. You've reached out to the universe and you're asking for a little bit of help. You're asking for help in a sense that of value and a sense of release because we can't carry it all emotionally, physically. We can't carry it all. We have to allow this energy to be channeled somewhere into something so you can continue on, so you can be empowered. Now, it is tempting to push back. It is so tempting to oppose. But let me tell you, that energy will push you harder to achieve your ambitions and will only worsen the situation. So to get better, to attract, to have that position, to be in the ability to see the truth in the areas of your life it is going to take hard work. But I'm here to guide you. This is a guided meditation to help you empower the direction of your life. So you may be facing a big decision, a change in career, a change in marriage, or maybe in parenthood. Maybe you simply just want something that you've dreamed of for so long. Maybe you're at this point where you have all this love to give and you are calling out to your spouse or calling out to this person. Or maybe you have this idea, this creative energy, this innovation that you're just waiting for your boss or even yourself, the motivation to get you there but you're probably threatened by changes that are taking place. But I'm here to tell you people, changes are inevitable. Changes will happen. But how you balance these changes, how you ride the waves of these changes will showcase the reward. Now, everybody deserves reward and the result of the direction of your life will take on a new purpose and a new meaning. Long lasting, durable, hard work, structured energy is going to build up. Joint enterprises, investments are going to be highlighted. Issues of life and issues of death are going to be a serious concern of loved ones. And how you apply that energy is going to be an emotional truth, a journey in life, enhancing wanting long-term commitments, applying those long-term commitments, and a possibility of being better in the metaphysical world, in the physical realm, as well as the material one. So how do you apply these changes? How do you make the best of this energy? How do you use this energy to build positive relationships with your clients, your coworkers, and associates? This is the energy of mending bridges, of letting go energy that does not service you by all means. This is a mini makeover of empowerment. 
enjoy your artistic pursuits. Focus on the harmony of what gives you harmony and what allows that harmonious energy to come forward in your partner or in a potential partner. Communicate this to the moon and communicate this to the universe. Some things might be out of control, but there is something that is in control and that is how you respond. How you're able to lift these memories, lift you, restructure you versus be regretful and get you down. Habits will always, always need to change, my friends. There's always going to be a moment in your life where what you were doing does not work for you. It causes more pain than it did the joy. So this is the opportunity to cleanse. This is the opportunity to let go. This is the opportunity to cry. This is the opportunity to move forward, to take care of your self-care, to see the value in you. I want you to build these bridges rather to burn them. And I want you to see the value of you, the love in you, the feeling and the comfort and the tranquility and the beauty of you. I'm going to allow you this time to meditate on the candle and on this energy here. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. And if you would like to get one of my sessions or any of this guided meditation that I offer, all you have to do is just get a session with me.
hope you guys enjoyed that, that release or meditation on the candle for you guys. Focus on that empowerment. Focus on that emotional release, what you value and what you want to attract. I'm going to leave you guys in some meditation, silent meditation. Focus on the candle, on the energy, and thank you guys so much. Happy Libra Lunar Full Moon Eclipse.